practices, but the glory of the yogic practices, the prosperity practices of Kundalini Yoga, but not just Kundalini Yoga, allow us to create a space change in the inner environment, the inner organism, to where we can cultivate the conditions where very naturally a sense of genuine purpose will arise. That's not an occupation. It's much more substantive than that. And so this ain't about anybody's job. This is about what it means to be a human being and to have a relationship with life, the mother intelligence that trusts you'll be provided what you need to do whatever it is that you're here to do. And in that courtship, it, becomes a, it can become a, a genuine love affair. And instead of like wishing, like, give me, give me, I need more and more, you start to realize that the giving tree is always giving and always has been giving. We only need to come into a more subtle alignment with the natural flow of our lives by paying attention to what's immediately around us, not avoiding the things that are here because they're inconvenient or uncomfortable, but turning towards them and, and giving a chance that there's medicine there. Give it a try. It doesn't, it's not saying believe everything just blindly. Let's say test it. What if there's medicine in everything that comes in your direction? From the annoying relative to the, uh, to the current job you're in that you just don't like to whatever it is. Because when it's viewed as an obstacle, in a certain way, it's creating a kind of distortion energy between you and the, the nature of things. But it's kind of trusting that you are where you are right now because you should be. And that it's not trying to be somewhere else. We may have places we want to get to, spaces we'd like to experience, but the first step is right where we are. And maybe right where we are, we gain an awareness that we do want to change some things. Definitely that could be the case. But it could be the case that, you know, things are actually quite, quite beautiful as they are, although potentially difficult and lacking in pleasures right now. And that when there's not a lot of pleasure to go around, it's not the time to really seek it out. It'll come, but rather to, to figure out what this pain is teaching me. And, where, and it shows me where maybe the psyche, the mental patterns are overly attached to certain pleasures in my life. They could be really subtle and refined, you see. Doesn't, maybe it's nothing anyone from the outside would even notice. Or maybe they're not very subtle, you know. Maybe they're noticeable to everyone around you. And either one of those is A-OK. -okay. It's a beautiful thing to just recognize where we are and to say, you know what, I'm good as I am. Doesn't mean I don't want to grow, but, I'm, but I trust life. And I trust that where I am right now is a perfect starting point for wherever it is I would like to get to. And in fact, I can find joy in the moment exactly where I am. Because that joy is not dependent on things going happy in a superficial way. But it's a joy of experiencing the depth of life, the depth of your own being, and connecting those two things together, and falling in love, 
And so that's the, our journey of prosperity. And tonight we're going to tune in here. We're going to move our bodies, move the life force energy, and do these wonderful meditations. It's a three-part meditation experience that we're going to do this evening. And that will be the 40-day meditation that will begin on Monday. And regardless if you're really new to all this or a long time, it's set up and, and designed so that it'll meet you in a way that's uh, really reasonable for you. So it could be as little as spending like nine minutes per day or up to 33 minutes per day for the meditation portion of the 40-day challenge, which is the main portion. That's really the main thing. I'll tell you more about it at the very end, but regardless of any of that, Let's focus on tonight and let's use and like kind of access the energy in this full moon. It's a strong one. It has a, it has a, it has a kind of a, a deep, somewhat, somewhat turbulent energy about it. Not turbulent in a negative way, but in the same way that a grand conjunction brings along some turbulence just a week or so ago. And so it's all in that same vein the energy of this time right now and and so we're gonna use these really perfect kriyas for this kriya is just this kind of meditation practice exercise system that kundalini yoga is practiced within the context of what's called kriyas but if you're new don't worry about that right now it's all about just give it a try see if it see if it resonates see if it feels like something that's great for you or not and and so these, these, especially the first one, ju just does a magnificent job of kind of tapping that deeper energy of the, of the, of the or organism, bringing it from below the diaphragm where your vital energy lies and is stored and helping to kind of circulate it up into the higher centers of the psyche, what the yogis call the chakras. And, and then once you can circulate that energy in, a, in an effective way, which is not difficult to do, then we will utilize that with these beautiful prosperity meditations. And, and so what is more difficult to do is to keep the energy well circulated, your life force well circulated on a consistent basis. And that's why we like to do a practice for say 40 days to help to kind of stabilize that deeper energy that we call a habit because some of our habits are really deeply uh, stabilized and some of them are not helping us and they're deeply stabilized so this does two things one break up help to break up the patterns both known and unknown but primarily known break up the patterns that we become aware of that are not s serving us any longer maybe did at one point maybe never did and we picked it up from somewhere in the family or who knows where, in the karma. And, and furthermore, and, and perhaps even more importantly, we want to establish new habitual grooves, grooves of the thinking, feeling, emotional mind, desiring mind, that are going to be supportive for us, that are going to help us in our lives, that are going to connect us to our deeper sense of what we're all about, is going to help the prosperity flow in our lives. So that's what it's all about. Happy you're here. We're going to tune in and bring your hands into prayer pose. 